I can't live a day without music. It's just an amazing feeling. I have to be hearing it constantly when I'm driving. Go Country 105. I got my shades on. Shining off the cross, hanging from the mirror of my ride. The breeze blowing in, your hair blowing round. You're scanning through the stations looking for that country sound. The good stuff I stuff in the back seat. Nowhere to go, nowhere to be. I got my shades on top, back rolling with the music jack. One on the wheel, one around you, baby. Sunset, I bet there's a chance we can get short. You got me missing signs Or looking left when my world is on my right I got my shades on top back Rolling with the music jack One on the wheel, one around you, baby Sunset, I bet there's a chance We can get sure enough Tangled up and lay back and lazy Pour it on easy now Don't spill a bit Nothing but time tonight Let's get to killing it Long as I'm Country 105. Bye. 
Shining behind your dress Your silhouette is so perfect Take me back there Take me back there Oh, was it your heart or mine? Or was it just the wrong time, Gabriel? Country 105. The following recorded program is a paid advertisement by Purity Products. We offer this program as a service to our listeners. This station and its management do not endorse or object to the information, views, or opinions discussed in the program. The following is a paid advertisement brought to you by Purity Products. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi there, and welcome to Purity Products Radio. I'm Steve Summers, and I'm so happy you've joined us today. I've got some good news for you. The medicine hunter Chris Killam is here. He's standing by. CNN calls Chris the Indiana Jones of natural medicine. And friends, I want you for a moment to just put on your imaginary hiking shoes, because today's story begins in the pristine Altai region of Siberia, where we're going to discover that Chris Killam calls his favorite of all the botanicals. So after 40 years in the field, I want to know, and I know that you'd be interested to know, what is his favorite and what it can do for you. Whatever you do, don't go anywhere. We have a great show planned for you today. Chris Killam is an ethnobotanist. He's an author and high-level advisor to Purity Products. Chris Killam, welcome back to the show, sir. Good to have you. Hey, Steve. It's great to talk with you. It's been a little while, so I'm always happy for a good conversation with you. Well, you know, this is a great show and just a wonderful topic here, Chris. I want to jump right in. Before you tell us about this particular herb, a great headline in National Geographic goes back to 19, actually, goes back to 2016. It reads, quote, before steroids, Russians secretly studied herbs. And it's all about this exact plant that we're talking about today, right, Chris? Here's the thing. The Russians, they have their own long, long history of traditional plant medicine, and they have thousands of medicinal plants. And in Russia, they have this particular plant, Rhodiola rosea, and they have some others like the legendary uh, energy enhancer Eleuthero, which people used to call Siberian ginseng, mm -hmm. and others still. And back, I think, as early as the 50s, actually, Russian trainers started giving concentrations of these plants, especially rhodiola, to elite athletes, Olympic athletes, people competing in international competitions. And it was such an important and highly valued secret program that it was considered an act of treason. Wow. If Oh, like, and treason in Russia, that's not fun, you know, that's not a traffic ticket. So, you know, <laughs> <That's death. laughs> um, it, you know, so, so you didn't share this and it did in fact convey a competitive edge and it was a really big deal. And eventually a guy named Zakir Ramazanov, who I knew and who really influenced me a lot wow. about Rhodiola, uh, left Russia with a lot of documentation on this program and started to really popularize this amazing botanical rhodiola all over the world. Well, I know a lot of people have never heard of rhodiola rosea here in the United States, but a little perspective here. This has been, what, uh, popular around the world for like 2,000 years now, right, Chris? I mean, like you said, Russians used it as an everyday vitality tonic. Uh, National Geographic, they talked about how Russian Olympians used it uh, like to get a mental and physical edge back in the 1970s. But this prized research, and I know you've been really involved in this, Chris,